several weeks, we have covered the troubling story of a Maryland 12 year old boy who police say they have caught again and again for serious crimes. But each time he has been sent home due to a state law. Now 7 News Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell is learning there is a different path that officials are taking to get the boy some help. He has made sad headlines for an alleged crime spree dating back to last spring. A 12-year-old D.C. boy caught 22 times in Maryland, allegedly breaking into car dealerships, stealing cars and stealing scooters, and because of his age, under 13, by law, simply released, usually driven home by police to a parent. Montgomery County State's Attorney John McCarthy among those in law enforcement frustrated by Maryland's juvenile justice laws. We're really left uh, in limbo with really little to nothing that we can do. Now we've learned the child whose identity we're protecting, in addition to his run-ins with the law, has been reported as a critical missing person at least five times since last year when he was just 11. According to D.C. police, such a history automatically triggers referral to a family intervention program called STEP. In Maryland, we've learned his case has been referred to the Department of Juvenile Services. I think that there are a lot of opportunities for us to intervene and work with young people to help um, turn their lives around and make sure that they're successful. Kara Enninson of DJS says because of confidentiality laws, she can't discuss this specific child, but explains what can typically be done. We meet with the young person, we meet with their family, we identify what strengths and needs that family has, and then we're able to connect them to services. If that doesn't work, then we can always file a sense petition, and that's the next step, which that means it would then actually go to court. Most of the time, the young people that we're able to intervene with are successful and don't come back to the system. Now, sadly, I have learned that the 12-year-old was reported once again as a critical missing just last week. He has now been found safe. There's no way of knowing if he will participate with his family in any of those voluntary programs. But I can tell you as well that he has not had an encounter with police since September 8th. In College Park, Brad Bell, 7 News.